Today's topic, calming down. <sighs> calm down. You need to calm down. It's something we've all been told before. We know what it means to calm down, but sometimes calming down is easier said than done. Have you ever felt so angry, so upset, or even so excited that you just didn't know how to calm yourself down? Sometimes things just make us feel crabby. Getting overwhelmed or frustrated is normal and it's okay. It's okay to feel upset and even very angry too. When you need to be the calm in the storm, you can think about the oceans. There are five oceans in the world, the Pacific, Atlantic, Indian, Southern, and Arctic Oceans. They are enormous bodies of salt water that cover 70% of the Earth's surface and contain 97% of the Earth's water. Challenger Deep in the Mariana Trench is the deepest known point in Earth's oceans at over 36,000 feet below sea level. That's deep enough to completely cover Mount Everest. The oceans are always adapting to changing tides, which is kind of like how people have to adapt to changing situations. When you stop and take the time to coast or calm down, you can let your problems float away and come back to them when you are calm and ready. What is it that makes oceans so calming? Well, just imagine yourself there. You can feel the warm sand beneath your toes and hear the rush of the cool waves. You feel calmer? If you do feel more calm, that's awesome. But remember, even if you are able to stay calm or calm yourself down, others might not be able to very easily. Be thoughtful of those downstream by thinking about how your actions affect others. Look beneath the surface and try to understand the situation from their point of view. If it's appropriate for the situation, give a gentle wave or word of encouragement. If you feel like you could still use some help with calming down, that's okay. If you can remember the five steps to managing big emotions, you'll be able to calm yourself down in no time. Step one is to remember the anger rules. Remind yourself that it is never okay to hurt others, hurt yourself, or ruin things. Actions and words can both really hurt, so remember to be kind. Biden and McKenzie had a disagreement that escalated into a fight because they didn't remember their anger rules. Okay, uh, let's try this again. Uh, still not very nice. I think Brayden and Mackenzie need our help to learn the five steps to managing big emotions. Step two, just take a deep breath or count slowly in your head. Think of it like pressing a pause button to refuel. Your brain needs oxygen to function, so deep breathing can really help you focus. Step three, use your words to say how you feel and what you wish would happen. Since we've already learned about identifying our feelings, we can practice using our words to describe them. Step four, don't be afraid to ask for help to solve the problem. or trusted friend might be able to help you with whatever is making you upset or angry. And finally, step five, just take the time to calm down. There are lots of different ways to calm down and what works for someone else might not work for you. Here are some strategies you can try.
You can go to a calm, quiet area where you can have some time to yourself or do some yoga stretches. Maybe what really calms you down is spending some time with a pet or reading a good book. To calm down after their fight, Brayden and Mackenzie each went to separate quiet areas for a while. I think they're ready to journal now. Are you?